What's up everyone, this is Graffiti Tutorials and today I'm going to be showing you how to paint torn metal that looks like this, really realistic so make sure you stick around to the end of the video and I'll show you a couple of different ways of painting it. Right, I'm going to show you a couple of different ways of doing this, a simpler way and a harder way. The harder way obviously looks better. For the simple way you're only going to need chrome and black and for the harder way you're going to need chrome, black, white and transparent black as well. And um, as you can see, I've got some greys here as well. You don't have to use chrome, you can just use grey as well and it'll still look like metal, but I'll just use chrome because I had a load of it so I could paint that whole board there. So let's crack on. So what you want to do first is where the break is in the metal. So just sketch out where you want it to be torn. So if you're doing it round a piece, obviously leave enough room to fit your piece in the middle. Right, so I've got that all coloured in. Now you want to do the pieces of metal that are flapping over off of it. So, just like this. Right, once you've done that, you literally just want to get your black and just put a fade on the bottom part here so it's like a shadow which makes it look rounded okay you can use transparent black for this as well which would be better I'll show you what it looks like with that in a sec but just literally just to soften that edge so it's not just a straight line and then to make these bits look more 3D that are flapping over just do a shadow behind them there. So it's really as simple as that, just black and chrome, that's all you need. But you can do it a better way as well, which is obviously using a transparent black. So it just gives a softer fade on here. So. Then you can build it up more, the shadow don't look as harsh on there. Just looks a bit more realistic. And you can even just give this a bit of shadow going across it as well. Just makes it look a bit more rippled and stuff when it's torn outwards. So that just looks a bit better than that and that just looks a bit too, too dark with the shadows and everything. So definitely recommend using transparent black. And then the even harder way, which is much better as well, is you can get your white and black or transparent black and just stick some highlights onto it. So this is just going to make it look shiny, you just want to put some shadows on with the black or the transparent black. Then just angle you can with the white and just stick a highlight on like this. Just gives it that proper chrome effect, like almost mirrored. And then just stick some highlights across this edge as well. Now it would be better to use a stencil cap on this bit if you haven't got very good can control. But 
well it's better with a stencil cap even if you have got good can control but you don't absolutely need one you can just use the free hand Now the skinnier this line around the edge, the better, okay? Because in real life it wouldn't have a big black outline around it, all right? So just try and reduce that a bit. Using the chrome or whatever colors in the background. and just come back on with your shadow just things in real life they don't have a black outline do they it's like the way you see things and they look 3d is by the light the highlights and the shadows on it so that's what we're going to use to make this look real You want the shadow to be darker here, closer to it, and the further out it gets, the more it fades out. And what I'm going to do is just get the stencil cap quick. Just do some final little dot highlights. And you see that that's the best way so what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to go back over these bits and do it all like this like the way i've done it just here the comp more complicated way and you'll see how good it looks Right, so I've just painted another one here as well and I've painted them both the last way I showed you which is the more complicated way and for that you need black, white, transparent black, chrome and a stencil cap as well so I've done all these little details and all these tiny highlights with the stencil cap so if you like this video make sure you hit the like button make sure you subscribe to my channel for more tutorials and let us know in the comments what you think and if there's anything else you want to learn. And I'll see you in the next video.